Arthur, I do want uh, one follow-up question for you in terms of Kenny Pickett. A first-round draft pick is going to have pressure no matter what. The quarterback position, especially with the Pittsburgh Steelers, how do you think he is going to handle it, and what is the best way for him to maybe block out that outside noise? Yeah, I think that uh, Kenny's going to handle it extremely well. You heard what uh, Pursuit was saying in the sense that the intangibles about Kenny are what really stood out the most about him, his maturity, his just ability to command the huddle, his presence in terms of interviews. I think that all of those things are going to carry over through this OTA process because, yes, he's in a competition. Yes, there's going to be pressure on him being that he played at Pitt and was highly successful, that he was the first-round draft pick of the Steelers, and he's replacing a future Hall of Famer in Ben Roethlisberger. But I think with Kenny, as long as he stays true to who he truly is, he's going to be fine. He's good enough. He's gifted enough. So that part takes care of itself. I just think for him, just don't go in there and try to be somebody that you're not. Be who you are. The same person that was having fun at Pitt, the same person that was smiling when you led those guys in terms of the ACC, take that same approach with these guys at the NFL level and they will respect you immensely for it. Pursuit is sticking with the quarterback position. We know there's going to be a competition. Mike Tomlin has made that very clear. Can that begin before training camp? And what do you expect to see in OTAs and mini camp specifically with that position? I think it absolutely can begin before training camp. I think you're always being evaluated. You know, they film everything out there. There are a bunch of people out there walking around, looking around. If you might, if you remember uh, Kevin Colbert talking after they drafted Kenny Pickett and about how the number of times they saw him live at Pitt, not just playing the game, but interacting with his teammates and coaches on the sidelines and how he responded to situations and things of that nature. Yeah, I think I think the the, the gun has gone off. The competition has started. Uh, the clock is ticking. They got to figure it out at some point uh, so that they know who the guy is going into the opener and that that guy is as prepared as he can possibly be. But I think everything and anything's on the table in terms of what they're looking at, uh, you know, Starting now. Well, if I don't no, want to... 100%. Go ahead, Mo. Yeah, I was also... I was going to piggyback on that. I mean, like you said, everything is a competition and an evaluation. If you're eating a salad instead of the chicken wings, we're going to dock you. If you go in and you see a donut and you pass over on the donut, Wolf's going to dock you. So we know that's how it goes <laughs> in terms of competition, baby. <laughs> it doesn't matter if shirts or in pads, everything's evaluated. This sounds like an SNR competition we should have out on the back patio during OTAs and minicamp. Just saying, guys, I, I'm sure you'll be here for that. No doubt about it. Let Absolutely. Me just, let me just add this because competition begins in the mind. You come in with the mindset that I'm here to compete. I'm not here to just carry a clipboard or I'm not here to just automatically assume that I'm number three or number four in whatever position battle. It begins in the mind. You've got to believe that you are skilled and prepared and ready to go. And remember, it always starts with the preparation. Everybody wants to win. It's people that have the will to prepare to win. Everybody wants to compete, but it's about having the will to prepare to compete.